finally, a question about uh, influencing. Uh, it's a key skill for leaders to be able to inspire, motivate others. Um, what role does emotional intelligence uh, play in the influencing for leaders? Influencing is becoming, as you say, very important now. So in emotional intelligence, we talk about interpersonal relationships, your ability to understand where the other person's coming from, which is part of empathy, and to relate to them in those relating skills. The aspect of influence, which I see as the next level when we look at emotional intelligence, is how do we get people on side? And uh, there's several different ways. One way is be being more direct and trying to use authority by saying, you know, you've got to listen to me because yeah. I'm the expert, or by being rational, by saying, hey, uh, you say this, but the evidence says that, right? But those don't always work, those systems. People back off. You try and be rational, and they become defensive. Mm -hmm and you begin to get into an argument. So the other way that we can look at it is by uniting, by looking at what is it that I really want you to do, and, and where can we see eye to eye, where can we be together? We both want to be successful in the end. So I work towards, we have this goal, how can we both get to this goal? It's a uniting way to be influential. And the second aspect is through relationship. So I say, look, um, I like you, you like me, we're good guys. Uh, you know, this is what we want. Why don't we move together towards getting this particular goal? So by using those uniting approaches, I'm much better able to influence you than I am by using the more directive and authoritarian approaches in most circumstances. Thank you. Okay.